early stars here in training camp. Hugh Jackson has, has talked about a couple of times how he's really uh, jumped out. Uh, how do you think this uh, this first week plus has gone for you? I mean, I think I think I did pretty good this week. There's some stuff I need to clean up on, but for the most part, I'm, I'm making plays out there. I know I was I'm able to make capable of making these plays, so it's not a shock to me at all. felt like you should have gone higher. Yeah. Uh, do you yeah. carry that with you every day? Every time you yeah. get the ball, do you carry that with you? Yeah, every day I wake up, I, I think about that. You know, I, I thought I was going to go third or third or fourth, end up going in the seventh round, which, I mean, I'm, I'm thankful right now because I'm with a great organization right now. So um, I'm blessed and I'm, I'm happy with how everything is going so far for me. How many running backs were drafted ahead of you? 29. Do you? Oh, go ahead. How do you know that? I mean, because counting them the, day, the three days of the draft. I mean, I, I wasn't really counting. I just, I don't, I don't know how I how I knew that number, but I just know the number, to tell the truth. But uh, yeah, I know for a fact there's not 29 running backs that's in that draft that's better than me. So. What was it like going through round after round, names not getting called? What was that like for you emotionally? That was that was tough. That was probably probably the tough one of the toughest moments of my life. You know, but I mean, I have my family there supporting me, so it, it was all good. It turned out to be the best for me right now. Matthew, for someone who didn't call it after our Carolina State, it's a little surprising how you run through the tackles pretty well. You don't seem to have any fear of that, even at this level. Is, is that pretty much your style? You, you consider yourself more of an inside runner? Um, I mean, I love running the ball inside. I love running the ball outside. Ran the ball outside a lot in, uh, in college. Um, Use, use that receiver a lot in college and stuff. So I, I look at myself as a every down back, I could do everything, so. So here you are, you're getting to sec this, it's the second last pick um, in the draft. And you don't, I mean, did you have any idea that the Browns were? No, I had, I had, I had no idea. I mean, I was already talking to a bunch of teams about free agency and stuff. So I had no idea the Browns were gonna pick me up. So I was happy when I got that phone call. So you were starting to kind of get yeah. A little bit down about thinking I'm not getting drafted. Yeah, I was already I already came to that conclusion I wasn't getting drafted. So, so you said that was one of the toughest moments in your life to go through that. What moment was it like when you did get that phone call? I mean, I was I was hysterically crying, and um, you know, my family was there. They were they were so happy and stuff. So it, it was a it was a it was a good and a bad moment. So it, it was fun. Matthew, that that distinction of being the last player that was sort of irrelevant. I don't think it's too much of an honor. Do you no. want to avoid that? Yeah, absolutely. I, <laughs> I definitely don't want to be Mr. Irrelevant, but, you know, uh, I got an opportunity right now, so I'm going to run with it. Do you think um, maybe when you look back on your career, it could possibly turn out to be the best thing that ever happened to you? Did you slip to the seventh round? Um, I mean, I don't really look at it that way. I felt like anywhere I would have went, I've just the person I am, I feel like I would have been able to make plays anywhere I went. But I'm really happy to be in part of this organization. So, is there an NFL back that you resemble? You think in style or um, up to? I, I love watching Frank Gore. We have like similar build, and uh, you know just the way he runs in between the tackles and stuff. So he does a really <laughs> good job at that. And I love watching LT when he played. So. He did a great job of catching the ball and stuff, and I feel like I, that's one of my best suits for me. So, Have you gotten a chance to talk to Jim Brown while you're out here? And if so, what is Jim Brown saying to you, and have you watched any of his film? Uh, I haven't got a chance to talk to him. I've only met him once at like a rookie dinner, and uh, that was a really cool experience to meet him and stuff. But uh, I've watched a ton of his ton of his tapes already. So Since you've been here? No, or, before, or before. Before? Okay. So, I already know he's one of the best running backs ever. So, so do you watch a lot of, of the old-time greats? He's probably like the only person I've really watched in the past. So, so is that ironic that you know, you've watched all that Jim Brown tape and then yeah. you're up in Cleveland? Uh, I, mean, I guess you could say it is ironic. But uh, he's one of the greatest backs ever, and I'm sure his, a lot of people watches him too. So. Did you ever get any kind of explanation for why? I didn't get any explanations to that. Um, talked to my agent about it. He has no idea either. 
But uh, like I said, I'm, I'm really happy to be with this organization right now. I don't know if you mentioned it, but did the Browns um, visit with you prior? Was there any tip-off that they liked you? Nope. Only interactions I had with them was in the Senior Bowl. Oh, so. were you on his team? Yes, I was. Yes. <laughs> um, the fact that you're getting opportunities, I mean, yesterday you, you got some reps with the ones, mm -hmm. three straight carries, you got like, I think 12, 15 yards with the first down. The fact that you're getting these opportunities, though, know, and uh, do you look at that as a positive for you? I mean, yeah, I definitely look at it as a, as a positive. Um, I'm glad that they put me in a in a position that I could actually make plays and stuff like that. So I'm happy for the opportunity and stuff like that. But I still got a lot more to prove to the coaches and stuff. And, you know, just my pass protection and stuff and just who I need to get and stuff like that. So it's a lot more stuff, but I'm, I'm getting there. You've really established that you can catch the ball really well. Yeah. Is this something that you have always done really well or have you yeah. been working on it? Yeah. Even since high school, my coaches put me at receiver. I caught the ball really well. In college, caught the ball really well. I think my first and my second year, I was the leading receiver on the team as well. So. And that just gives you that added dimension of being yeah. able to. And do you watch Duke the way that? I mean, do you yeah. Really watch him? I definitely, I really watch him because I see a lot of myself in him too. So. Matthew, is there a moment where, during this training camp, you thought, "Hey, I belong." Uh, I'll probably say the one of the first plays when we went full pads and had a pretty nice run. I, I really felt my, my confidence went up then, and I, that's when I knew I definitely belonged. That was, that was like I don't know how long it was, but it was a pretty good run. Yeah, definitely. So are you determined that you're just going to make it uh, impossible for them to keep you off that 53 man roster. Can you say that again? Are, are you determined to make it absolutely impossible? Let me put this in another way. Are you determined that you're going to make that 53 man roster no matter what? Is that what you're out here every day? I mean, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, in my in my eyes, I'm looking as I'm going in as a starter. And uh, I mean, I know they got their guys right now, but I'm still going to go in there with that mindset and whatever I can do to help the team. That's what I'm going to do. If it's special teams, uh, I'm, that's what I'm going to do. The speed of the NFL game, obviously, it's a lot faster than, than the college game. And yeah. Sometimes the field vision that you have in college doesn't always translate to the NFL tools that were there in college. Mm -hmm. You think are there in the NFL and they really aren't. So, from that aspect, uh, you know, what what have you seen there for yourself? How how do you think your field vision is coming along? I mean, I feel like I played in a really good conference where there's a ton of great players. So, I mean, I feel like. There, there is a difference, but not too much of a difference. But I, I played in ACC, so it was a great talent there. So I'm, I'm not really seeing that much of a difference. But you know, things are guys are bigger, stronger, faster. So thing closes up faster and stuff. So yeah. Do you have a history as a returner? Uh, I played kick return my first and my second year in college. That's about it. Have you worked at it at all? Yeah, they got me at kick return as well. Um, how, how important could that be to your? Chances to, you know, like you said, when you talk about making the team, special teams plays mm -hmm. a big role. Uh, you know, the, every everything on special teams plays a big role in me making this team. Um, from a punt, punt return, kickoff return, kickoffs, just any anything on special teams helps with me. So. Is there any um, any any current or former NFL returners? Did, I mean, you watch your Browns? Did you watch any any returners or whatever? To, you know, maybe to learn something or? Uh, honestly, I never really watched any returners, to be honest. I mean, I just just go out there and just catch the ball and just take off. Did Joe tell you about Josh Chris? Yeah, they, we talk about a lot about him a lot in the meeting room, so, yeah. Is there a, another back in the NFL uh, that was drafted low or maybe even undrafted that you kind of look to for any type of inspiration? Uh. I mean, not really, but you see Crowell, he's, him being undrafted, that, that helped build my confidence up a little bit too because he was given the opportunity and I mean, now he's the start of the team. So that gives me a lot of hope. And has he taken you under his wing a little bit? 
helped yeah, a lot. Yeah, him and Duke, they they definitely been helping me out through this whole process, and it's been fun. Do you, I mean, I know it's a long way down the road, but do you see a scenario where on third down you could be one of the, the back, Duke can be in the slot, you can both on I mean, however the coaches see see it best to do that, I mean, I'm all for it. Whatever they want to do, I'm I'm ready to do it.